to start off this look, I'm using Suva Beauty's Satire Hydro Cream Base, which I have put some eye drops in, and I'm using this paintbrush. And I'm going to start drawing the shape starting in the crease and kind of winging that out, and then pulling that towards the inner corner of the eye. And then a wing out from the outer corner. So once I have that shape down, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever smudging brush and or dome brush, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to start blending out that line so there's no harsh edges. Or at least a harsh edge in blending upwards. So once I have that blended out to my liking, I'm going into the Super Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette and I'm taking the shade Clover Club, which is a green, and I'm taking that on a Sigma E21 and I'm going to start applying this to the crease where I have put down that base. Then I'm going to take this Zoeva 231 brush and start diffusing that line. Next, I'm taking Sugar Pills Acid Berry Shadow on my Cosmetics Blending Brush, and I'm going to further blend out that green. So then I'm just going in and adding more of Clover Club and then again, blending and diffusing those colors together. So now I'm taking Makeup Geek's Peacock Eyeshadow, which is gonna add the most depth for this look. And I'm applying this right to the crease of the eye using the same Sigma E21 brush. And then I'm taking that Zoeva 231 to make sure that that is nice and blended out. So then I go in and do the same steps to the lower outer V of the eye look. After that, I'm going to take this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer with another flat paintbrush and I'm going to cut out the crease only because I had a lot of fallout on my lid. I wasn't planning on recutting out the crease for the lid, but shit happens. So I'm just doing that here. Now I'm taking Suva Beauty's Scrunchy UV Hydra Liner, which I have activated with some eye drops, and I'm taking that on a Sugar Pill Precision Liner Brush, and I'm going to kind of follow the shape of the crease, and then I'm also going to apply it to the lash line and kind of wing that out. So 
So then as I was going into the crease area, <laughs> I kind of smudged the line and was not happy with that. So I decided to switch to a smaller brush, which this is the Sigma E11, which has a finer tip. And then I continue going up into the crease. And I didn't show you, but I actually cleaned up this line and made it thinner. Sorry, I didn't show you. <laughs> so now I'm going into the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit, and I'm taking the shade Lucky Clover, and I am going to highlight my brow bone with this shade. So then I'm just going to apply Lucky Clover to my lower lash line, and of course blend that out with Acid Berry. Now I'm taking Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue with my Zoeva pencil brush. And I'm first applying that all over the lower lash line area. And then I'm going to be applying Beauty Bar Baby's Atomic Lime Glitter all to that area. I wanted it to kind of look like I was crying glitter. Then for the inner corner of the eye, I decided to take this Furless Obnoxious Pigment, which actually shifts kind of blue. So I thought that was kind of cool to put that in the corner in the inner corner of my eye. And then I didn't get a shot of this, but I am applied House of Lashes Spellbound, Spellbound Lashes. And this is the finished eye look. 